a huge honor to be even in this game and have the opportunity to play in this game. All right, you've heard me say this before, but there are so many teams and coaches and fans and parents and, and, and families who, who dream of this opportunity to go to state. Uh, two years ago, some buddies said they needed a goalie for the team, so I started going to some summer practices and took it from there. Uh, I started playing travel soccer when I was probably fourth, third, third, fourth grade, and then just kind of kept playing through middle school. And then uh, my background with the sport is I played it pretty much my whole life, and I plan on playing college. I've been playing soccer for my whole life. I began playing soccer, you know, going way back. I was like five years old, dad was a coach. Um, never really stopped playing soccer, so. I've been playing soccer for five years. My expectation was to be a leading goal scorer, and I was, and make it to state, which we did, to keep this streak going. I mean, we were hoping for a lot, trying to win states. That was our main priority. The team, the last two years, I. I was playing, we made it to state both years, so I wanted to go back and this time maybe win a state tournament. One expectation I had during the season was keeping the legacy alive and winning sections. Um, yeah, we had a lot of team dinners that I, I really liked. We'd go to Will's house, we went to Zam Zam's mom's office. Uh, I think we had another one somewhere else, so I can't remember. But yeah, those were, those were really fun, just bonding with the team and eating good food. Before every important game, we would have a team dinner, and, and I think that like got our chemistry going and got the team spirit up for the next before the game. We were pretty much hyped, and usually after every like session game we went, we'd go to Canes. That's how we'd celebrate. So we did that. I think the first week of practice, it was starting to get to know everyone, to start knowing how everyone plays and to get us ready for the season. The practices this season was very very nice. Um, I really enjoyed all the different activities, Coach Dan. Um, made us do. Uh, for the first like couple weeks of practice, I just remember being super hot. So we practiced in the morning a lot. Woke up at 5:30, practiced at six. Still dark out, but it was it was fun because pretty much everybody was there. We we're just having a good time. We had 6 a.m. practices, which was great, but kind of dreadful at the same time. This team would slowly become family, so I guess getting along with one another in the AMs was a lot to take in, but it was pretty fun. It was pretty fun. So it was a game going into, we thought we were going to beat them pretty good. We are here with Zam Zam Hi guys, my name is Zam Zam Hashi. I am the full team manager. Um, my game prediction for Tech versus Rapori, it's going to be probably like a good 3-2, maybe 3-1. Um, I do think that the three will be us and we will win, but we shall stay tuned. Rapori is a pretty good team. About two years ago, they made the finals and they played Tech, which we beat them 1-0. That doesn't change the fact that they are still a good team. Um, but wish us luck! Even Aiden got a yellow card. Really? Yeah. See this right now? This one I play so bad. This guy wasn't even on. So he's like, oh my god. Bad, bad! Whoa, 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 whoa! On me, on me! Let the other midfielder come to you when you drag them. There's a midfielder open. You can send out the ball on the ground okay. and they distribute it right away. But if you send it, they're going to send it back right away. Come on, Ramadan! Come on, Ramadan! Same team! They scored pretty quick and then we just couldn't get any luck with putting the ball in the net until 30 seconds left. We we tied and we're able to come away with a draw. The beginning. Uh, disappointing start. Really had all his chances in the game. I think Ty and Corey was a bad look on us. So yeah, motivated us. 
So after a draw to Rikori, it was definitely a lot to take in. However, the team just didn't seem to have that big of an issue with it. Uh, you blame the defense right now? I am. But you got chipped. I got chipped, but I blame the defense. I we're having a little bit of a hard time from crossing. the beginning when we draw to a team like Rikori. It should have been taken a lot more serious afterwards, and we should have seen it as a wake-up call a lot earlier. Yeah, going into the Wilmer game, you know, they've, they've always been tough. And Wilmer got moved into our section. I thought we definitely have the team to beat them. Again, Wilmer is a team that is ranked within the top 10 in the state in AA. <laughs> it was really serious. Oh. Wilmer ended up striking back with a goal shortly after, and then they had their game winner a couple of minutes into the second half. I think this one was a little bit controversial. Yeah, so playing Sartell right after Wilmer, Wilmer was, you know, in hindsight, pretty tough set of games. They pulled out a couple really spectacular goals. So. Caleb goes down, we get a penalty. Second half, I was able to get another one. And <laughs> We can't guard you! Let's go, boy! We can't guard you! That's it! That's it! That's it! Pearson had a great, 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 you know, free kick. However, it didn't go in. I think I just kind of chopped it up to a part of the game. But it, the energy was just there. Um, Sartell ended up being a pretty, pretty dominant team in the conference. It was a pretty cool tie, being down 2-0 and able to draw. Facing St. Cloud Apollo for the first time after beating them in a section final is not something easy to walk into. Hi guys, it's Manager Zam. Um, I think today's going to be a really close game, but I do genuinely think that we're probably going to win. Um, I don't I don't know, I think it's just, there's there's a lot going on. You know, the girls are playing, JV won, you know, the other JV team won, but we can never underestimate teams, so um, I guess in about two Check and a half hours, we'll know. Check is number 18, Paige Grouch. Woo, go Paige. Okay, anyways, so we'll know in about two and a half hours um, who runs this town, and it's probably St. Cloud Tech. But going into that game, our expectations was high. We were like, all right, you know, they're pretty easy. We're going to win this game. Started a little bit later than we would usually. Um, I don't know if that threw us off a little bit or what, but. Uh, coming to the game, I think they were more prepared. They were more hungry. When you concede two goals within the first 10 minutes of a game, that's not something easy to come back from. Yeah, yeah this one was a rough one. I don't think it was how we really wanted to, wanted to play. It was a pretty big loss. When we played Apollo, the pressure got to them and they were blaming each other. But in the middle of the season, I think everyone was trying to get down on each other because we weren't winning. Yeah, I think we went, we went through a lot of up and downs after our first Apollo game we lost. Even though the score said 3-0, it was a much closer game than that. Today, yeah, practice. Practice was probably one of the best practices we had after that. 
No one really were down. Everybody was up, focused. We were not this focused until this practice. Second Wilmer game was at our our place this time, and we know from the first game it was going to be a battle, and we we went in, we battled hard, we were able to get a pretty lucky goal. They got an own goal, and then we just went to game. We played really good defense the rest of the game, shut down their best guys, and were able to come away with a win. We I mean, came back later in the season, so that's all that matters. Boys had a really, really bad season, you know, our uh, regular season. We were really bad. We lost a lot of games, tied so many games. We kind of had like all, all of these guys, right, moving forward together, right? When the playoff came, right before the playoff, you know, Coach Dan, I really give good credit to him because he changed the formation, you know, and that really helped a lot. Um, you know, throughout the year, I had been talking to the boys about just saying, remember, we're tech. I thought we had really good support throughout the school year. You know, I have a lot of people in school asking me, like, if we're going to win our next game or where we're playing or who we're playing and teachers too and just the whole school population was able to kind of rally around soccer is get for something just to get excited for and go to state for we were entering the playoffs with not the best record it was by far the worst record in many years of tech soccer I don't want tonight to be the end of our night, all right? I want this to be the start of the second season for us, okay? We could still have another three, three and a half weeks of soccer together, all right? And there's nothing more fun than uh, than a practice late in October knowing that we just gotta we just gotta put the work in. You know what I mean? Okay, so let's leave everything out on the field tonight, all right? Let's let's honor each other by playing as hard as we possibly can. Kinda knew we had to buckle down and get ready and we kinda walked into Becker and stomped him pretty good. We scored a lot of goals. We managed to score four goals, and that was a boost of a little bit momentum. But well, everybody expects us to be better, and we handle the job pretty easily. I'm proud of you, right? That's again. This is this is the second half of our season. Whatever team we were, whatever team anyone else was, it, it doesn't matter now. All right, all right. It doesn't matter who's the better team. It doesn't matter who's the worst team. It, it shows up to play, and we did that tonight. So let's keep it up, all right? Lost them once and beat them once, so we're gonna have to bring our, our best. That game was just incredible. At the warm up, it was kind of a little bit nervous, you know. Both teams really nervous because we beat them, they beat us. Kale was able to get one pretty early, and we just played some really good defense the rest of the game. We were able to shut them down and come away with a win. We knew after that game we were gonna win the whole section. Yo, 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 we're here with Mr. Zero Goals, Donut Stats, Mr. Let's just he gets those goals! 
Carlos, you! Oh, oh, we're here with the best cap of the year. I remember in the bus, everybody was quiet when we were going going into that game. Everybody was locked in or like, you know, ready for it. When we arrived at the, the site, just everybody was just staying locked in and we knew like we're gonna we're gonna beat these guys. We knew it from the start. He's ready. I'm ready. You know, he's ready for the reporters. Yeah, help Gariala, you know. Huge honor to be even in this game and have the opportunity to play in this game. All right, you've heard me say this before, but there are so many teams and coaches and fans and parents and, and, and families who dream of this opportunity to go to state. All right, and we've been fortunate enough and we've worked for it and we've had a little bit of luck on our sides to get ourselves into this position, all right? So Oh my Get god, up. what a player ball. Second! Win it! Win That's all yours, all yours! Keep leaving! Up! Get up together now! Get up! Unfortunately, when you run out of time in regulation and then you go into overtime and it's still a non-scoring game, everything depends on a kick. Everything depends on one penalty kick. We defeated Goliath before. And we can do it again. Find the courage in your hearts and the will to fight. And we shall do it again tonight. Um, but with Landon, he ended up making two saves. One from a player who scored on us twice in the regular season. And with that, we ended up beating St. Cloud Apollo in the section final for the second year in a row, 4-3 in a penalty shootout. A really hard fought game. Played maybe the best kid in the in 2A. Abdi Issa is a really good player. And came here to do one thing and to win and take back, take home the six peat and other teams have never done it. And so they didn't have that confidence that things would come together. They started to get very nervous and then you play worse and then you start blaming either the refs or your teammates and you start fighting. Um, and we didn't do any of that. We just stayed the course. We were very confident. It was history after that. Everyone's super happy. Everyone's super excited. But the job's not finished. We have three more games to go on and play. And um, high hopes. The dream continues for St. Cloud Tech. This is never going to happen, is it? There we go. This is my left foot. We're not gonna do it now. Come on, huh? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. Let's get it. Come on, come on. 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 Come on, Oh. It's great. We won the section championship for the sixth year in a row. We beat St. Cloud Apollo for the second year in a row in a final. Things are high, high, high hopes, you know. Tough opponents again. Unlucky us every time we get a we get to play Koke, you know, this is the second time in a row that we had to play against them. Uh, when we went in this, the CEC game, when we wa were walking past the tune section, they were saying 0-2. Oh, got matched up against Cloquet, which 
uh, the year prior we lost to them in the same game, and so it was a revenge game. I think that I remember them saying on a, uh, what was it, on the news that we were like the most favorable team, like honestly the most easiest, and they were well, underestimating us. Number seven, Caleb Campina. Number eight, Omar Ali. Number nine, Ayub Yusuf. When we played Cloquet, the pressure got to their guy who was supposed to be so good and he didn't like getting shut down. Um, <laughs> Let's go, 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 like our coach said, we have nothing to lose, and he was right. We were not, we were, no, we're not supposed to come this far. No one believed in us. They got pretty lucky on a pretty dumb penalty call at the start. A Mr. Soccer finalist, he takes the penalty and makes it, giving Cloquet the lead, 1-0. Three minutes left. I was kind of, I don't want to say losing hope, but I was getting to the point where this could, this could be my high school career. Then we had our clutch man. Our two clutches guys, Will Pearson and Kel Campina. Make a read on it. 4.43 to go. If CEC makes any more substitutions, the clock would stop. Campina, another shot! Campina! Then we were able to get Caleb with, with a, a nice play. Chance. Got a nice ball from Will, and he was Perhaps able to put it away for, for a pretty cool goal that I think just lifted our spirits. That was probably like the best goal of my career. And we were able to bring it to him in overtime. Didn't end up scoring, but we went into PKs and... Off speed! It goes through! And St. Cloud Tech moves on to the semifinals! All of our guys stepped up, Landon stepped up, Will stepped up, and we are able to come away with a win. Yeah, going to U.S. Bank was maybe the coolest thing I've ever done in ever. It was, it's, I've watched the Vikings play there, I've watched previous state tournaments there, I've always wanted to play there, and then it was getting in the bus, they brought us in through the, like, the tunnel down there, so you had to be like, go through security and stuff and walking through, and then as soon as you walk into the stands where they had us seated to watch like a couple games before us, it was just the atmosphere was incredible, just great soccer being played there, and it was probably it was definitely the coolest thing I've ever done. Yeah, the the Hill Murray game probably didn't go how he wanted. I missed a couple chances that I definitely want back. I know they scored a couple in the first, and then Omar brought us within one with probably the goal of the year for us. Oh, and Tech does strike before. It was it was pretty nuts. Halftime, we we were just going over like we can we can win this game, we can beat them. And then second half, they they brought it to us. They have. Some really good players. Number 22 is real good, and um, we just weren't able to to get any momentum against them, and it was kind of devastating going down like that.
Coach Dan did a good job of keeping the team together, and I think our captains did good. And our great manager, Zam Zam, did a great job, as always, keeping the team in check. For example, Zam Zam, she was a really good, maybe even the best manager you can think of. She uh, run, um, she ran the social media, TikTok, Instagram. Zam is great. She gives the team a totally different perspective, gives them a woman around who um, even though she's their age, she can kind of be like their mom in a lot of ways for them. She can do a lot of the emotional talks with them when they get all nervous. Get better soon, Zamzam, and we're you good health.